Please hit that subscribe button and give this video a like, as well as turn on your notifications so you won't miss when I upload a new video. With that said, let's get on with today's video. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be um, trying out this pattern from So Much Ado. Um, it is for the footed baby pants. It's a free pattern. It is for personal use only. So um, if you're gonna make this, um, you cannot make this to sell. Um, that's what I'm guessing it means by personal use only. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna attempt to make this. I have been wanting to practice my sewing for a while and I haven't had a lot of time, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, try with this uh, baby footed pants pattern. I do have a new niece coming in November, so I would like to be able to make uh, a few things for her baby shower gift. So I'm gonna try this out on some fabric that I did. I got this fabric from Joanne and it's a cute dinosaur print, um, a girly dinosaur print. So, um, the first thing I'm doing is just getting out my patterns. These are the two front pieces and the two, um, they're not the toe pieces. They're like the, yes they are, the toe and ankle pieces, I believe. So I'm gonna get those together and put them together. Here I am clipping them uh, together. Now, one mistake I made from the beginning is that I snipped some of the notches instead of marking them and that did cause my end pants to have a hole um, where the snip went just a little bit too far and the serger couldn't catch it so um, if you're going to do this pattern make sure to read we all know that reading is fundamental but even I make mistakes sometimes and I did make that mistake so do not um, snip your notches from the pattern go ahead and just transfer your markings on the opposite side of the um, fabric using a fabric marker um, and that's all you'll need it's just showing you where to match it up um, on each of the items and I want to apologize ahead of time for any of this that is off camera no matter what I do when I'm trying to film a sewing tutorial not a tutorial because I'm still a beginner but a sewing video I cannot seem to stay on um, in the right angle but anyway I'm just clipping the toe piece to the front piece at the bottom um, and then I'm gonna serge them together and that's what you'll see me do here in this next clip I'm gonna go ahead and do both um, legs and then go ahead and sew or serge both legs now I am still a beginner at the serger as well so you'll see me always checking for holes after I serge something together because my first few times using it I always had a hole um within the scene where i missed the part or where it didn't get everything and so i'm wor working on that as well but yeah so that's what you'll see me doing this next um little portion of the video here
Now as a beginner, you'll see that I am still using a lot of clips and that just helps me to keep everything in place um, the way that it needs to be because um, if it's not like just a straight um, scene, then I need a lot of pins like this or a lot of clips because this one was like you have to fit a wider part into like this little bitty um, semicircle that is cut in um, cut in the front leg piece so I had to fit that in there and then I was gonna need to stretch it a little bit to fit and I just used a lot of clips to try to go ahead and get it as flat as I can get it um, before I searched it because like I said I always have trouble with having little holes in the in the serge seams because I missed a part um, or the fabric slipped a little bit so that's why I'm using so many clips but um, it worked out in the end. I didn't have any holes um, besides the holes from where I snipped the um, snipped the markings instead of um, marking them. So that's what I did here, and that's what um, well, that's what I'm doing here. So. So there we are that's what the front piece looks like when you attach that toe part um, and I have done both of them now I'm gonna get get the back piece which looks like that and I'm going to um, match them up right sides together and I'm gonna sew the side seam the long side seam So I'm just going to clip together um, both of those side, long side seams. I'm not going to use a lot of clips this time. Like I said, if it's just a straight um, side seam, I normally don't need to use a lot of clips. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to search them together. And after that, I will be right back and explain to you what I'm doing next.
serging these long side seams was actually really easy. Um, it's the curves that really still kind of give me problems. But like I said, I am practicing. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish that. And um, I am tucking my um, serger tails in uh, using one of the, the large quilt needle things. Um, um, tucking my tails in after I sew um, each part I didn't used to do that um, when I first started I didn't quite know how to do it but I think I figured it out so that is what I'm doing because even though this is just a practice pair of pants I still want to see how good I can get it to look um, but yeah uh, that's what I'm doing there I'm gonna finish up these side seams and then I'm going to uh, go ahead and sew the other uh, side seams as well. Do not sew up the crotch area, just sew that short side seam on both sides of the pants. Um, and you'll see me do that here in the next clip. Now my plan for these baby clothes or if I can get a couple of patterns um, down and practice them and get them right, I'm going to make my niece um, just a basket full of um, baby clothes um, in different patterns. I have so much fabric that I need to go through and use and I'm not really using it and baby clothes take so little fabric that I can have her a lot of different outfits matching headbands you know cute things by the time it's time for her to get here so she is due in november so what i'm gonna do is start now and get like maybe four or five different patterns that i like and just make like maybe two or three versions of each thing so that i can have her a cute um a cute basket full of clothes for her baby shower gift um and I think her mom will really appreciate that. And I can also do some sublimated onesies and just cute stuff I, I plan on having in her in her baby shower basket. So um, after I'm done sewing those side seams, I'm going to go ahead and sew on the toe pieces. But as you can see there, I have two pants legs um, sewn up and they don't look half bad. I need to trim some threads, but they look okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, get my toe pieces and attach those. Um, this was tricky. Um, it matched up all around just fine. It didn't need to be stretched or anything, but it was tricky because of, just because of the curve. And I'm not very good at curves, but 
I did okay and um, they came out okay like I said before the only problem ended up being where I had cut into the pieces uh, a little too far or cut into them at all when I was only supposed to mark it and I didn't read I didn't see that until after the fact when I reread the pattern but it worked out fine so here I'm just gonna go ahead and search around um, these feet search the feet to the uh, rest of the pants leg and uh, I'll be back once I'm done doing this part Okay, so now that I have those done, you're gonna need to um, turn one of your pants legs right side out. But here I am, you see that hole there? That's from where I snipped into the pattern piece instead of marking it, like I said before. But um, yeah, you're gonna need to have one of your pants legs inside out and one right side out. And you're gonna tuck the one that is inside out into the one that is right side out or vice versa it doesn't really matter i don't think so i tucked the one that was right side out into the one that was inside out and then you're going to match up the seams and the crotch and clip it together and that's what i was doing here i apologize about it being off camera or out of angle it's really a struggle to get good angles when you're trying to show yourself sewing because you get so into it and you're not even thinking about the camera angles anymore so but that's what i'm doing there i'm clipping those pieces together at the crotch and meeting them up um, at the top seams of each pants leg and then i'm going to serge that together as well
and I don't know about you guys but I have always had a desire to sew and sell baby clothes but you know now hearing about all the compliance you know requirements and everything it's a little bit scary um, but I am thinking about still going into maybe just selling a few baby items as gifts I'm not sure I'm still thinking about it if I can get good enough at a few patterns that I like and get a few outfits together that I think are worth selling and worth the hassle then maybe I will but I do really I've always had a desire to sew and sell baby items so y'all look out for that and hopefully I can get it together and you all let me know down in the comment section if you have any like suggestions on how to get this angle better on how to do better sewing videos on what you recommend or what you do differently because um, I really really would appreciate that help but yeah here's the pants so far you see the feet are on and everything now what I didn't show in this video is me zigzagging zigzag stitching the um, the uh, elastic together right there and then you quarter the elastic and then you add it to your waistband a quarter inch under the top and then you quarter it as well so you just make sure it meets up and when you are sewing this or serging this you're going to need to pull the elastic a little bit because um, it the elastic is of course a little smaller uh, than the waistband so you're going to need to pull it just a little bit to for it to meet the certain sections and that's something I usually struggle with but I did okay on this one I was very surprised but yeah I just went ahead and used a serger I'm not sure if that was the correct way to do it but it worked out um, so I just used a serger to connect my elastic and again I'm stretching the elastic um, while I am sewing it together and I'm just gonna go ahead and sew around the whole waistband until um, the whole thing is on there and I do of course remove the clips as I go So now that I'm done sewing that waistband, this is what it looks like. It's definitely not perfect, um, but it won't matter much because it's going to get folded under anyway. So the next thing I'm going to do is pull out my sewing machine and I'm going to put it to my zigzag stitch. And I think I used number four on my um, Project Runway machine. I am in the market for a new sewing machine if I can ever save up the money for it because I want one a little more heavy duty. But um, she works fine for now. But you see as right, as right here in the video, I am just folding down the waistband over the elastic that I just um, sewed on and it's going to naturally want to bend anyway so once it does that I just clip it in place and then I'm going to sew it down um, 
towards the bottom where the elastic um, is kind of top stitch it down using my zigzag stitch I'm not sure how else, how else to explain it but you'll see in the video I'm going to go ahead and top stitch that down now I didn't change any um, thread in my sewing machine because like I said this is just a practice but I lucked out and I had black um, thread in the machine so it's it's gonna look okay once it's done but again I changed my sewing machine to my fourth stitch which is I think that's my zigzag stitch or my long zigzag stitch I'm not exactly sure and then I'm gonna remove my um, whatever that little thing is <laughs> and just slide my pants over the arm of the sewing machine and I'm gonna sew like I, I really just sew by feel like towards the edge of that um, elastic and I use my zigzag stitch and I'm gonna sew that down Now, I don't know about you guys, but zigzag stitches take forever, in my opinion. They take so long, but um, I wanted to try my best to make these look as nice as I could. So, you know, it wasn't too bad. These pants in total took me maybe about an hour, and that's because I did have to recut a couple of pieces. I attempted to use my rotary cutter for like the second time ever, and I still need to work on that. I'm a bit scared of it um but yeah i just i really wanted to make these pants and they came out so cute you know minus a couple of little imperfections and i just know to work on those on the next pair but i'm just gonna finish sewing these up and then we will see the um the finished item and i hope this video wasn't too bad you guys like i said the lighting and the angles i'm still trying to work on my craft space is in my dining room, so I, I kind of have to maneuver around things and the lighting in there is not so great, but I don't think it came out half bad. And I was really surprised at how good the pants came out also, because um, like I said, this is only like my maybe third or fourth time sewing anything on my serger. And this is really my first or second time sewing a baby item my second time sewing a baby item so i was proud and um yeah i was happy with how they turned out and i look forward to going ahead and getting the baby shower um gifts going and i will do a video once i'm putting that order together or not order that basket together so that you can see all the things that i make as well but i want to thank you guys for watching i i appreciate you hanging with me while i am sewing you know practicing i'm not gonna call this a tutorial because i'm not teaching y'all anything right now i really am just practicing and still learning myself but um yeah i want to thank you guys for watching and i hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did please um comment down below give me a like subscribe if you haven't already and like i said i welcome all criticism any criticism is fine with me i have tough skin you know and i'm always open to learning new things and i'm always open to improvement so anything that you can help me with or any thing that you think I need to change let me know down below in the comment section I will try to link any um, products that I used in this video down in the description box as well as this um, fabric if I can remember to link it I will link it but yeah you guys thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video bye guys
Thank <laughs> you.